Oh, hey, the school holidays. What do you got planned? Oh, just imagine it, all those hours ahead of you with nothing to do. Ah! Well, how about I set you to a challenge? We've got all those fantastic string games that I've shown you earlier. Remember, there's this one, uh, this one, uh, this one, uh, this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. But before you get started, how about I give you a few tips? Really simply, you need a long, long piece of string or wool longer than the length of your arm. So I'll take this one in out of raffia. Oh. Take it longer than your arm and then double it. Now, you tie a knot in the end. Just a really simple knot, but you need it nice and tight. And then you get rid of all the loose hairy bits off the end so they don't get in the way. And there you have it. The easiest make of all. And then you can cut loose and make all kinds of things. And of course, you don't have to use raffia. Here I've used wool. I've actually used string in this one. A real string game, but really thin string like this can actually be a bit tricky to work with. It can be a bit harder to see as well. Oop. Yeah, and it cannot. Oh, there we go. But here I've got different types of wool and even some ribbon. And this is really nice to work with. Hey, something else I noticed the other day is I've shown you all the string games this way, haven't I? Facing you. Not necessarily the easiest way for you to do it. It might have been better if I had done it over my shoulder. So should we do that? Okay, I'll give you a few tips. You there? Oh good, okay, let's do it. First, you put your hand up like this, either your left or your right, but I'm right-handed, so I'll use my left. And you put your wool or your string around your thumb like that. It goes across in front of these three fingers and then behind your pinky, okay? Well, that's nice and easy when you've got a spare hand, but I now have to do it on this hand. So I put my thumb in underneath the wool, have it draped in front of this hand, and put it behind my little pinky and pull it tight. Now, once you're there, you use your pointing fingers, the nose picking ones, <laughs> and you scoop underneath that string and pull it tight. And then you do the same with this one. You go underneath this string and you pull it tight. You might need to practice that a few times, but once you've got that sorted, you've got this shape here. And that's the shape that you'll start most of your string games with. So I'll quickly make a cup of tea. But thirsty? Yeah, me too. <laughs> so if we go underneath, so over these one, two, these two first ones, underneath those ones, bring them back and under, and then drop your pinkies, and you've got a big cup of tea, or maybe it's a soup bowl. There. Nice and easy. How did that work? Was that a little bit better? Well, if it's easier for me to do it this way, let me know in the comments below and I'll start doing all the other ones for you as well. Go and check them out, give it a go and let me know. And I'll see you next time. Have a great holiday. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.